Hello everybody, Mr. Mobs here and welcome back to the channel. So today is the day that Pico have revealed their latest headset. Uh, it's called the Pico 4 Ultra. Um, they actually revealed the name a few days back or about a week back, so that might may not be a surprise to many. Um, also, some of the specs and um, images and things like that have been linked in uh, true VR style. There's no surprises there. Um, so I just wanted to run through all the official spec sheets as they've put on their website um, and I wanted to compare it to the Quest 3 because obviously they're kind of rivals and that's what they're kind of going up against. Um, so yeah, just wanted to give you a bit of a breakdown on the headset and perhaps a few of my own uh, personal opinions on it. So I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so the Pico 4, like I say, it's called the Pico 4 Ultra. So it's, uh, I guess, um, it's not the Pico 5, which um, we've, we know has been canned which is a shame um, but it's I guess an improved Pico 4. Um, I did actually own a Pico 4 and compared to the Quest 2 I really really liked it I think it was definitely an upgrade to the Quest 2 um, and then once the Quest 3 came out I sold my Pico 4 moved over to the Quest 3. Um, in lots of ways it was perhaps a bit of a sideways move so you got like pancake lenses and things like that in both, colour pass through in both um, but the Quest 3 did slightly have the edge um, in my opinion. So anyway, so with the Quest 4 Ultra, we've got some specs which I'll put on screen. Um, and I just wanted to run through a few things with you regarding the specs. So the CPU, I'm going to read from the list. Uh, CPU is the same on both Quest 3 and the Pico 4 Ultra. They're using the Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2 chip. Um, so no surprises there. The internal storage, um, as you know, the Quest 3 op offers uh, two two types of storage the 128 gigabyte and the 512 gigabyte i have the 128 gigabyte storage for my quest 3 personally i don't have any problems with that sometimes it does get full and i just delete some of the games that i'm not really playing um, and then i can install other ones that i do want to play so there's never that many games i want to play in one go never been a problem for me but if you're personally likes the entire library all on the the machine at once then obviously the 512 is the way to go for the quest 3 uh, with a pico 4 is a 256 so 256 gigabytes so it's in between the two um, a lot of people said that the quest um, or meta was going to release a, a 256 gigabyte um, edition which they haven't yet they may do at some point it'd be interesting to see um, but as of yet there's the two models for the quest and the one model for the pico 4 ultra um, the next thing then is the ram so this is an interesting one with the pico 4 ultra you have 12 gigabytes of ddr5 um, and on the quest 3 you have eight gigabytes so an extra four gigabytes of ram um, which i assume would make things a bit more snappy run a bit quicker that type of thing it's not really going to improve um graphically i don't think it would improve anything but certainly how the headset performs and how um quick like the ui and that type of thing that might uh impact for the the positive um so that's a nice little upgrade there for um the pico the wi-fi connectivity you've got on the quest 3 it's wi-fi 6e compatible um, and on the pico 4 i was quite surprised to see it's wi-fi 7 compatible so obviously you can use 6e but you can also use 7 so that's a nice little jump um, although i use 6e on my quest 3 um, I used to use 6 before that, and if I'm totally honest, there wasn't really a lot of difference for me personally between 6 and 6E. Um, I used to do a lot of PC VR, and I expected there to be like probably a, a noticeable difference, but really there wasn't, um, for me personally anyway. So be interested to see if there's any difference between 7. It's just like another band that you can use that's got less traffic on it, I think. Um, I'm not massively technical, so I might be wrong there, but from 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 how I understand things, um, so yeah, Wi-Fi seven on the on the Pico four, um, the sensors. Now this is one. This is what that has surprised me, and I don't know if anyone else has picked up on this. And it, I, I'm going by um, the specs that I see on the Pico website and then on the wiki page for the Quest. So this might be wrong. Um, I couldn't find the specs for this on the actual Quest page, but for the actual cameras itself, so the, the colour cameras, um, you've got in the, the, the sensors, you've got um, two times 32 megapixel cameras in the Pico 4 Ultra, 
Um, whereas the Quest 3, it's just got the 2 times 4 megapixel. So it's a, a lot lower megapixel in, in comparison, like massively different. Um, I don't know if I'm comparing like for like here or if I've got this completely wrong. But um, from what I could tell, that was correct for both the Quest and Pico 4. Um, if that's the case, then the colour pass through on the Pico 4 Ultra is going to be a lot clearer than the Quest 3. So that's if you care about pass through, which I know probably a lot of you don't necessarily care, but um, it's it's quite a difference. And I think considering Meta are trying to kind of pitch the Quest 3 as a spatial computing thing compared to the Vision Pro, I think having that clearer um, mix, mixed reality um, experience for the Pico, that's quite a, quite a difference there. So if I've got that right, that'd be interesting. Um, the screens itself, the screen size on the Pico 4, they've gone for two separate screens and they're 2.56 inches each. I couldn't get the measurements for the Quest 3, um, but I believe that's about the same. And they're also using two screens. So whereas the Pico 4 had one single panel, I believe, um, for the Ultra, they've gone for two separate panels. Now, what I did like about the Pico 4 and what I didn't like about the excuse me about the quest 3 was the binocular overlap so um it's the kind of bit in the middle that kind of overlaps so um you don't see the kind of black lines sorry i just hit my microphone so so you don't see the black lines now on the quest i kind of noticed it when i moved from the pico 4 to the quest 3 i noticed the binocular overlap i don't know what it's going to be like on the ultra obviously i've not tried but hopefully they're not sacrificing that because that was quite a nice feature for pico but we'll see they've got the two screens anyway Re resolution wise now again i'm not like massively technical on this so the resolution on the pico 4 is um 2160 by 2160 uh with a pixel per eye of 1200 and the uh, quest 3 is 2064 by 2208 by uh, 1218 so breaking that down it's on the one way the pixel uh, the pico 4 is larger but on the other way it's shorter and vice versa from what i guess uh well, i guess gather on here um, someone might be able to say in the comments there, and the pixel per eye is slightly less on the Pico 4. So the resolution, I think, will be slightly lower, but you're talking 18 pixels per inch. So that's not very much, I don't think, but we'll, we'll see. Um, another thing that I was surprised to see, the microphone. So Pico 4 has got four microphones to record spatial audio. I think I saw a video saying that you could also record spatial video via... Um, the actual headset as well so that's quite an interesting one because on the quest 3 not so long back a few months back they did release um, spatial video um, playback but you had to record it on a mobile phone and then upload it and to begin with i think it was only uh, via iphones and now i think you can do it on um, android but i might be wrong but either way it looks like you can actually record spatial video on the headset on the pico 4 ultra and it's got four microphones to support spatial audio recording interesting um the quest 3 microphone i was actually quite disappointed with that so um pico might have a win on that one the last thing i want to talk about is quite important as well and that's battery so with the Quest 3, the battery is quite a large battery and it's stuck on the headset at the front of the headset and you've got nothing on the back. With the Pico 4, the original one, the battery was in the back. Um, so it kind of helped with the counterbalance um, with the strap, although there wasn't an interchangeable strap. You couldn't change it for another one. It was a, a fixed strap, um, but it wasn't a material one like the Quest 3, you get a standard. With the Pico 4 Ultra, it looks like they're doing the same thing. So you've got the battery in the back, you've got a solid strap, which I pre prefer that, even though you can't change it. It's like you get an elite strap bundled in, in, in my opinion. Um, and the capacity, so um, for the Pico 4, it's a 5700 milliamp um, rated capacity, whereas with the um quest 3 it's only a 48 uh, sorry so 5700 milliamp for the pico 4 and 4879 milliamp for the quest 3 so it's actually a higher capacity battery on the um 
Pico 4 Ultra than the Quest 3. So that's interesting as well because anyone who owns a Quest 3 knows that the battery was a bit rubbish on it. Um, so it's interesting that they've gone for a larger battery, but it'll have, we'll have to see how that kind of pans out when you're actually using the headset, see how long it lasts for. Um, but definitely some, some interesting specs there. I will put them all on the screen. I don't know if I've presented them in the best way. Um, so hopefully with them all on the screen as well, that'll help out. Um, now regarding release dates, I believe it's released in China on the 2nd of September. I think it was, um, and only in China to begin with. So there's no um, announcement for anywhere outside of China. Um, and the release price, I sh should have had it down here, but I haven't. So let me just quickly check. 4,299 uh, yen, which works out, I believe, around about $600. Um, so let's see, 600 USD in GBB. So about £460 roughly. So a bit cheaper than the Quest 3. It's kind of, um, I've got to think now how much the Quest 3s are now. They're, they're, I think obviously the, the higher model, the higher end model is, is nearly £500. So I think it's basically between the Quest 3 for depending on the storage storage size you pick. Um, but yeah, anyway, basically, I just wanted to give you the lowdown on that. I really enjoyed my Pico 4, um, so it'll be really interesting. I wouldn't mind trying one of these out. I don't know if I'm going to get it or not, to be honest. I was hoping, although I knew there probably wouldn't be, but I was hoping for a bit of a jump in resolution as well. Uh, a lot of people were hoping for a display port as well on the Pico, like there is on one of the earlier Picos. Um but it's still interesting to see it going up against Meta with, like I say, some of the cameras and some of the other features. So there's definitely some improvements there over the Quest 3. Um, it, the operating system on Pico isn't as good as Meta. Uh, Meta has actually made like the operating system available for other people to use. So Pico, in theory, I guess, could have used that, but I don't see why they would have used the rival's operating system even though it would have been great for us if they had off um the games library as we know isn't as good on pico as it is on meta um i did cover this on my last video but a lot of people moan about the games library personally i think there's most of the larger titles the bigger titles are available on both um but yeah obviously there are some differences there for sure if you're using it for pc vr it's always been a really good headset the pico 4 so i imagine the pico ultra to be a good headset a good choice as well um so yeah really interesting stuff anyway there's a lot of people who get political because pico is obviously chinese and then you've got uh, Meta being American, um, so Pico 4 wasn't available in the US. I doubt that this is going to be available in the US, but it might be. Um, a lot of people don't like it because it's Chinese and they're worried about being spied on and whatever else, um, or their data be not being secure. Um, a lot of people worry about Meta and Meta being American in their data and stuff. So, yeah, you know, I'm not going to get into all the politics. Personally, I don't care for either. It doesn't really matter. Um, I just like the headset for what it is, not the company behind it. Um, but anyway, I hope this uh, video has been some use to you guys. Hopefully, I'll get to try it out. And if I do end up um, owning one, then I'll probably do some sort of comparison video when I've got it. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe and watch out for my next one. Cheers. Take care. Bye-bye.